The Premier Radio Networks proudly presents American Top 20 with Casey Kasem. Welcome to American Top 20. I'm John Androsik, also known as Five for Fighting. It's an honor this week to be sitting in for Casey Kasem. Over the next three hours, I'll be counting down the biggest hits of the week. And yep, I do have a song on the chart. Before we get started, let's take a look back at last week's top three. At number three, Lips of an Angel by Hinder. At number two, Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. And at number one for an 11th week, How to Save a Life by The Fray. Now, can The Fray stay at the top for a 12th week? How do we find out? You guys know the drill. It all starts right here, right now. Counting down the hits with Casey Kasem. I'm Casey Kasem. Easing down a notch now on AT40 is Five for Fighting, the act that's opening for Craig David this week in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, Kentucky, and Pennsylvania. American Top 40. We're counting down the week's top hits from 40 to number 1. The hit at number 35 is about maintaining your humanity. One man band John Androzik says, quote, We all try to be supermen in our jobs, but sometimes that's very hard and very disappointing, and we tend to lose the humanity in ourselves, unquote. Trying to find that humanity, here's John Androzik as five for fighting, moving back up four notches with Superman. It's not easy. Number 10. Here's John Androzik, a musician who's often asked why he doesn't record under his real name. His answer is simple. It's too hard to spell. Here he is as five for fighting. Counting down the hits with Casey Kasem. Here's John Androzik, a man who was trained as a classical opera singer. But opera didn't turn him on nearly as much as the music of the Beatles, Journey, Stevie Wonder, Earth, Wind and & Fire, and Elton John. This week back in 2004, one of the top hits in the USA was 100 Years. It's by a singer who decided on his unusual name at an ice hockey game. John Andrasik says it happened back in 1995. He was at a Los Angeles Kings Chicago Blackhawks hockey game. The center from each team had gotten into a big scuffle on the ice. And John says watching them, he came up with the name he wanted to use as a musician. Quote, I realized the music business was a hockey fight. You hit the ice, you take some shots, you sit in the penalty box, and then you come back for more. He named himself Five for Fighting, after the five-minute penalty assessed for getting into a fight. And this week, back in 2004, Five for Fighting had one of the top hits in the USA. American Top 10. Media Base 24-7 counts them up, and we count them down. Now we're up to a musician who's been called the Poet of Suburbia, a title he says fits just right. John Androzik says, quote, I'm not sure the critic was trying to flatter me, but the title is true. I live in the suburbs. I'm closer to the common man than most. I write songs about living in everyday America. Here's John, five for fighting, down a notch to number five with... The Riddle. Number 17. Well, here's a hit by somebody I know well. At number 17 for a second week, hey, it's me. How'd that happen? Working as five for fighting, here's World. Got a package full of wishes. Number five. When John Androzik came by the studio a few weeks ago, he told us why Five for Fighting is just a one-man band. First, his record label thought it was better to promote a band rather than a male solo artist. And second, no one could pronounce <laughs> Androzik's name. Here's John Androzik as Five for Fighting with The Riddle, You and I. Number 17. Down Three Notches is John Androzik, a singer who put out his first album as Five for Fighting back in 1997. The record called Message for Albert sold just a few hundred copies. A decade and two million albums later, here's Five for Fighting with World. This week back in 2001, one of the top hits in the USA was Superman, It's Not Easy. It's by a musician who was trained as an opera singer. He says that training gave him the stamina he needs for pop music. John Andrasik isn't just the leader of Five for Fighting. He's the entire act. He's a one-man band. 
It's something he's been working on since he was just two years old. You see, John's mother is a piano teacher, and her prize student is her son, who she trained for a life in the classics. John says, quote, I have classical training in opera. It's great for endurance when I have to do six shows a week. This week, back in 2001, John Andrasik, five for fighting, had one of the top hits in the USA. American Top 20. Now, John Andrasik, a.k.a. Five for Fighting, is working on an album. An album he doesn't plan on selling. He's giving it away. John Andrasik has toured with the USO, performing for troops around the world. And that's led to a series of albums called CD for the Troops. Albums distributed free of charge through the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. The first collection was released in November of 2007. And it was such a hit that a second collection was put out a year later. The first two albums featured music by rock and country stars, stars like the Goo Goo Dolls, Maroon 5, Alan Jackson, and Brooks and Dunn. He says, no one turns us down. Everyone wants to be there for the troops. John says the third CD in the series is due out in November. Now, with an extra, here's John, five for fighting, with a song for heroes. (laughs) 